Hey there, Bear Drinkers, and welcome back. I'm Sean, aka Kid Ugly. But if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. I am back with another one from Grow Brewing. Um, these guys are quickly raising up my ladder of favorite breweries. The stuff they put out to me is fantastic. Um, I get excited every time I see them drop something new, and I know it's so easy for me to get my hands on. Um, it's something about that. A brewery that constantly puts out good stuff. It's easy to get your hands on. It's, it's what's not to like. And this is their High Born Cold Pale Ale. Coming in at 4.5% alcohol. Look at that artwork. Let's see. High Born. Fantastic looking artwork. And this is by Tattoo by Anna. On Instagram and the Facebooks, I don't think it's gonna. And it never, never wants to work for me. So, yeah, this is their cold pale ale. I've had cold IPAs before. Um, I've had IPLs, which apparently not the same thing. Um, some people say they are. Some people say they're not. I'm not here to debate that whether it is or not. I don't. They're all good to me. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, I have not had a cold pale ale yet. This is going to be my first one. Um, I can't remember what hops and all that. If you go on Untapped, it explains all that stuff. I don't remember any of that. Um, this was canned on 5-15-23. So just over a month old. It is Father's Day of 2023 that I'm drinking this on. So the 18th. So it's a month and some days. Um... Yeah, let's get into her. Oh, it pops beautiful. And I think I'm going to be able to pour logo out on this one. Look at that. So, thin head on it. Not very much head. Um, definitely got that clear pale ale kind of a body. Golden. That golden wheat. Kind of a um, best way to describe it. Yeah. Golden wheat, almost like a like a pale ale, or a little bit better than a my, my, macro, because it does have some fogginess to it. But I don't think it's just cold chill. That head did not stick around long though. Ooh, nice sweet floral kind of earthy got that hoppiness to it yeah I got that sweet malt a little bit biscuitness to it oh, I definitely get that good floral almost like a light citrus maybe more lemony than orange Smells fantastic. Looks really good. Decent amount of head on there now. Yeah, it smells like a good pale ale. Um, it smells super fantastic for pale ale. Let's give her a sip. Mm. Sweet. Floral. Hoppy. A little bit malty, um, smooth. It's got like a crisp, crisp bitterness to it. It's not really smacking you in the face, but it's enough to you know let you know that it's there. And that is in fact a pale ale, um, you know, and not an IPA. Floral, earthy. Yeah, this is mighty fine. 4.5. It's a good lawnmower beer. You get done working on the yard, you know. Hot summer day. You want something with some taste. Something that's letting you know that, hey, here I am. But you can drink it down. You don't have to think about it too much. But it still hits all the notes you need. This all the way. Um... 
This would easily be a summer crusher case by case. Just grab a case, crush it. Grab another case, crush it. Keep it on hand all the time. I'm not surprised. Uh, Grow throws it out of, knocks it out, and that throws it out, knocks it out of the park. Everything I've had from them so far. Can't wait to try more. Um, try to get more on the channel. But I don't want to inundate it and have like all the same thing over and over and over again, which I've noticed with like new trail and stuff. So I'm trying to switch them out here and there. But, um, so. And this is all 4.25 for me. Um, it's good. It's crushing easily. Yeah. 4.25 all day long on this. I picked it up. 4.60 a can. It's under five bucks a can. Um, Western New York. I picked mine up in Horseheads, New York at Grand Central discount. Um, I know these guys are out of Geneva, so they're going to be like in your Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse area. Western New York should be able to get them. Again, I'm not sure how far east these guys go. I don't know if you can get this all over New York or if it's just the western area. But if not, make a trip, you know. Uh, make a trip to the, to the to the falls or make a trip to Watkins Glen um, or the wine trails and the beer trails. I should say the beer trails because it's, it is booming up right now. Um, I don't believe they have a tap room, but I know they do a farmer's market every Thursday and you can get stuff and merch now so yeah thank you for watching if you like hit the like button hit the subscribe button you know all that fun stuff i'm supposed to say so until next time thank you for watching cheers